it's time for another episode of new makeup releases. And today is very special because the day that you are watching this, it is my birthday. So this is our birthday episode and I'm turning 37 today. Wow, wow. I'm feeling good about it. Life is good. I have no complaints, but I want you to treat yourself today to something like a sweet treat, maybe a, just a little me time, maybe a cocktail if that's your thing. Treat yourself to something today in honor of my birthday. I'm giving you permission to celebrate. Hello and welcome if you are new here. My name is Rachel and if you're not new here, Thank you so much for coming back. Today we're gonna to talk about the new makeup releases that have been sneak peeked and or launched this past week. I'm gonna give you my thoughts. I wanna hear your thoughts down in the comments and I will link everything I can down below in the description box. Any release date information, pricing information, links to the Instagram accounts I pull from, it's all in the description box. Everything else that is on my face is in a pinned comment and let's get started. I don't have a ton of stuff to talk about yet again this week, but one thing I do want to note is that the Sephora sale has begun for Rouge members. So the Sephora savings event did start yesterday, the day, today for me, yesterday for you, October 27th for Rouge members for 20% off. And it doesn't start until October 31st for VIB and Insider, but Sephora collection is 30% off for everyone for the whole duration of the sale. And if you are planning on shopping the sale, I will leave my Sephora link down in the description box. Feel free if you do wanna support my channel, you can use my link. It's at no extra cost to you, but don't go out of your way to buy something just to use my link. It's just there if you feel so inclined to use it if you were already going to purchase. And if you don't wanna use it, that is okay. If you wanna use someone else's, that is okay. It's all good, but I just wanted to mention that. I actually did place an order this morning and it was convenient because I feel like I ran out of a lot of things all at once. <laughs> maybe I'll do a haul when it comes in. I don't know, there's maybe five or six products. It's not that big of a haul, but I, I will at least let you know what I got and, and all of that in some capacity. Are you shopping the sale? And if you are, what are you planning on picking up? Are you skipping on the sale? I would love to know your thoughts. You know, for me, I don't go crazy on the sale anymore. I'm much smarter about my purchases. I really use the sale more for like, repurchasing things I'm running out of, or if there is something that I'm really wanting that I would be buying anyway, that will segue me into the next thing I wanna talk about, which is something that I think I am going to pick up, and it is the new Huda Beauty collection. So this is, it's, it's an actual collection. There's a lot of things, or there's a handful of things, let's say that. It says, unleash your inner heroine with our new pretty grunge palette. Each shade tells a story of empowerment from stand up and hope to rise up in freedom. Let this palette inspire the strength within you. I think it looks like it's got a good mix of like cool tones, even some warmer leaning tones and some like pinky mauvey tones, which I'm all here for. I do own the Rose Quartz palette, which came in this format and I absolutely love it. Absolutely love it. I think the quality is phenomenal. I love the color story of that one. And I actually really enjoy the color story of this. I definitely am very interested in it. It is going to be available on November 1st, which is Wednesday. And there are a couple of other things in the collection. Limited edition blush gloss that adjusts to your skin pH. Not interested. Limited edition black shades in the liquid matte lipstick. I already have a black lipstick. I don't need it. Lipstick silk balm and lip contour 2.0. I do like the the Silk Balm. I used to have one of those. I don't have it anymore. I think I used it up. It's very, very good lip balm. And then a lip quad with four travel size liquid matte lipsticks in nude shades. Um, I think her liquid lipstick formula is fine. It's like an old school liquid lipstick formula where it's very liquidy and it completely dries down. A little bit drying in my opinion. So I'm not gonna pick that up either. But the eyeshadow palette, I'm thinking about it. What about you? What do you think about this collection? Are you skipping? Are you buying? Let me know. ColourPop has released a couple of things here this week. So they are re-releasing their Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer collection that they had for holiday two years ago. So that would be 2021. I've heard it's gonna be available at Target. I haven't gotten that confirmed, but it is available now on their website. So I will link that down below. I never owned this collection when it first launched. I didn't pick it up. I do love the movie. It is very nostalgic to me. I watched it as a kid. We watched it last year as well during Christmas time. 
and it's a really cute nostalgic movie for me but I'm personally not planning on picking this up uh, I think the color story is really pretty a neutral palette with a couple pops of green a couple pops of red I like that but I've just got so much makeup coming to me and there are just things I want a little bit more than that so I think I am going to skip on this but let me know if you picked this up two years ago and like what's the quality like let me know your thoughts on it. But what I did get sent in PR is they are releasing a whole bunch of gift sets at Target. Let me go grab it. A few moments later. I did actually uh, do a reel with all of these things. If you're not following me on Instagram, you definitely should because I do upload reels quite often. So there are three, these are my favorite things, three little eyeshadow, five pan palettes, with a cream gel liner. So this one, Jolly Vibes, is like a kind of a mauve neutral color story and the Joyride eye pencil, which is one of my favorites, which is like a red, like a, a maroonish red. This one also looks so beautiful. This is Warm Wishes eyeshadow palette, which is more of like a true neutral tone with Brouhaha. I don't actually own that brown eye pencil. So I think I am gonna keep this one for myself. Um, I may keep this one, but I already have this eye pencil, so I don't need that. And then they have like a true cool toned one. Actually, it looks kind of like what I'm wearing on my eyes. I'm wearing the Natasha Denona Xenon palette on my eyes, and I uploaded a video yesterday using it and getting this look, so check that out. Uh, but if you like cool tone neutrals, this is like a mini five pan with a uh, swerve, which is their black pencil eyeliner. So those are really cute gifts that you could easily just like gift some of these, put them in uh, stockings, whatever. There are two sets with three lip liners. Love the ColourPop lip liners. They're so, so good. Lippy sticks, which I haven't used a lippy stick. Whoa, haven't used a lippy stick in years, but there are different formulas in here. Some matte, some matte X, some cream, some blur, more like pinky tones, more reddish tones. Then we have two little duos of Super Shocks. So those are there. And then there is a glitterly, obsessed duo here. So really cute little gift sets that are pre-packaged for you. Just stick them in a bag, stick them in a stocking. And these are going to be available at Target for sure. Uh, that's confirmed. So check out your Target and I'm sure they'll be on target.com. I'm sure they're gonna be on the ColourPop website as well. But thank you to ColourPop for sending me those products. I'm definitely gonna enjoy gifting those out to my friends and family, maybe putting some in a giveaway, keeping some stuff as well. So I will link it all down below. So I've been waiting for Glam Light's third horror collection of the season to drop. I bought the Ghost Face palette. I have used it, I filmed with it, I haven't edited it, it's coming soon. I skipped on the Friday the 13th collection because the eyeshadow palette just wasn't up my alley exactly. It didn't intrigue me enough to go out of my way to buy it. And what I said to myself is, I wanna wait to see what the Nightmare on Elm Street collection is gonna be like, then I can decide like what I wanna pick up from each collection. So they have sneak peeked at the moment of filming, I'm sure by the time you're watching this, they've sneak peeked more, but they've sneak peeked two products. The first product is a brush set. So it says it's a five piece brush set, which consists of two face brushes and three eye brushes, all infused with red liquid blood detail. So it's one of those things where you turn it over and the liquid kind of goes up and down and it's supposed to look like blood. These brushes are housed in a limited edition customizable VHS collector's box, adding a touch of retro horror nostalgia to your beauty collection, $24. I think that's pretty good. Uh, this collection is gonna be launching on Halloween, October 31st at 8 a.m. PST. The other thing that they have sneak peeked and they've done like a reel on their Instagram and I just took a screen grab of a couple of things that I could get. There are two smaller eyeshadow palettes and I can already tell just by these six swatches that I see that I'm gonna buy them. Like I already can tell I'm I'm into it much more than the Friday the 13th palette. So the, one of the eyeshadow palettes, it opens a little bit and you can see three shades, a purple, a red, and then like a deeper red. And the three shades are swatched out on this arm. They look gorgeous. And then I tried to screen grab the other eyeshadow palette, but I couldn't get it. But you see swatches of like a olive greenish brown, a emerald green and a gold. Like I'm ready. I'm ready for this. I'm ready for this. I do feel like I'm going to pick up those palettes. So stay tuned for that. 
Uh, the brush set, probably not. Like I've got plenty of brushes that I love that I've, I'm good with right now. So I think I'm gonna skip on the brushes, but I'm definitely looking forward to seeing what else they're gonna release with this collection. Let me know if you're planning on picking up anything from the Nightmare on Elm Street collection, or if you picked up anything from the other two horror collections they released this past season. They've done a good job with it, in my opinion. So Melt has launched or is launching a second part of their Nightmare Before Christmas collection. So there are a handful of things in the collection. This is the Christmas Town collection. So there is an eyeshadow palette for $60. I much prefer this eyeshadow palette to the last eyeshadow palette that they released a couple of weeks ago. I feel like the tones are a little bit more up my alley. There's greens, there's purples, there's a couple of reds, there's a matte white. And I looked at the swatches that they did on their Instagram and they look really pretty. Uh, I'm probably not gonna pick it up. Again, I just have a lot coming in right now that it's not like my top priority, even though Nightmare Before Christmas is my favorite Disney movie. But I feel like I can sit back and admire this from afar. I don't feel like I need to go out of my way, especially it's $60. That's, that's a lot for a, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 pan palette. Mm, I'm, I'm good. There are a couple of lipsticks in like bolder colors. There is a cheek duo. And I will say the makeup bag with zero on it is absolutely adorable. Absolutely adorable. Do I need the bag? If it comes to Sephora, I may consider it because I could get 20% off during the sale. I don't think the bags usually come to Sephora though, do they? It's probably for the best. It's going to be available on November 1st at 2 p.m. Central Time. I'm assuming that's the launch on their website. You can get everything for $165 in this collection. So yeah, stay tuned if you're interested. I did talk about Dee Dee's signature last week or the week before they were releasing their Autumn Neutrals palette, which looks gorgeous. And now they are releasing a Plum Perfection quad. This looks really, really cute. We have like a grungy green, a deeper purple, and then two shimmer options. I love a small palette. It is available now, so I will link it down below. According to this post, I don't see any sort of pricing information. I'm not probably gonna pick this up, but I did wanna mention it because it does look really pretty. Sugar Drizzle has released a new eyeshadow palette. This is the Elements of Evil palette. The artwork was done by Doodles by the Bunny. She has been really killing it, like designing packaging and all of that this year. I love the cover. I think it's so cute. And this color story is really fun, a little bit more like fun, bright Halloween. It is $52. It's a 12 pan eyeshadow palette with duochromes, multichromes, mattes, and shimmers. There are affiliate codes out there. I don't personally have one with the brand, but this is cute. This is cute. It's fun. I think I'm going to skip on it. Personally, I don't really feel like I need it, but I do think it's cute and I wanted to mention it. I really enjoy this sugar drizzle formula. I think they're uh, both their mattes and their shimmers are really, really good quality, really pretty. And this one has a really fun, different spin on Halloween. So we have a sneak peek from Bella Beauté Bar. I literally just took a screenshot of it and it, all we have is the outside. And then at the very end of the reel, they open it up and you can see empty pans. So we don't even get to see any colors or anything like that. But this is called the Bejeweled Palette and it's coming in November, which I was thinking that's kind of, a far ahead way to sneak peek something, but November is in like five days. So I don't, I, yeah. I really enjoy the recently de-influenced palette that I picked up from them lately. I think the quality is phenomenal of both the mattes and the shimmers, really enjoying that palette. So I'm definitely keeping my eyes open to see what they've got coming here. Uh, be jeweled. I'm guessing there's gonna be jewel tones, right? That would be a good guess. Stay tuned, we'll see. Revlon is coming back. Where have they been? They uh, filed for bankruptcy, I wanna say six months-ish ago, something like that. Uh, but they're getting back on their feet. It looks like they're releasing a whole bunch of new products. The Colorstay Limitless Matte Liquid Lipsticks for $11. Revlon Illuminance Tinted Serum SPF 15 for $15. Illuminance Gel Serum Blush for $12. Colorstay Multiplayer Liquid Glide Eye Pencil for $10. Revlon Colorstay Brow Fantasy with Clear Shaping Gel, $10. None of these things appeal to me personally. Uh, they have a really good range for the liquid lipstick colors. We've got a lot of nudes, both in brown undertones, pink undertones. We've got some bolder colors. They look really good. 
Uh, same thing with the gel eyeliners. They look actually kind of like metallic gel eyeliners, which is interesting. The Revlon Illuminin Serum Tint, I'm not interested in. Like anything that says illuminance when it comes to a foundation, absolutely not. I am a grease ball. So I, I don't need any more illuminance. I, I've got my own, uh, but if you're interested, it there's only 16 shades. So that's not great for a big brand like Revlon, but hopefully it's a uh, more of a sheer coverage. Doesn't say. And then there's a gel serum blush. Again, I, when I hear that, it's not something that appeals to me. I don't want something that's like a dewy, wet serum like blush. It's just not my vibe. And then I don't need a brow pencil. I'm good. So, but if you are interested in any of these things, it does say that most items are available now. So I'll try to find them where, where they are available. I'm not really sure exactly what retailers, but they also probably will be coming to stores soon, I would assume. Yet again, not really a very long episode of new makeup releases. Those are kind of all the things I wanted to talk about today, but of course I wanna hear from you. Let me know in the comments anything that has been recently announced that you're excited about. Whether I mention them or not, I would really love to know your thoughts on anything that's new. Are you buying it? Are you skipping? Like. Tell me your thoughts. I would love to know because I love hearing from you. And if you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. That helps me out a lot when you do that. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, I would love it if you would consider subscribing before you leave. I do upload videos weekly and I'd love to see you back on my channel again. I wanna thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.